Hello, it's been a while since I posted a video, so today I thought it would be fun to do a mural. I've got a large hallway and it's got this empty wall at the end. I thought maybe I could hang a painting or put some furniture in front of it, but then I thought why not just do a mural? Because the great thing about a mural is if you, if you don't like it or you don't do it very well, you can just paint over it again. So I thought it'd be fun to do a sort of simple mural with trees and sky and things like that. Give the uh, hallway a little bit of atmosphere and uh, basically take you on a step-by-step -step journey from start to finish. I think this is something that anyone can do at home and uh, as I said, if you, if you have a go and you're not happy with it, just paint over it or wallpaper over it, whatever you want to do, but why not just uh, try it out first? Right. Well, what I've done is I've done a little sketch of how I want the tree to look like on a piece of paper, just to give me a rough idea. There's no real rule about trees because all trees are different. I'm going to then draw it on the wall. Some people prefer to use an overhead projector, but I think just drawing it on the wall is fine because if you're making any mistakes, you can just paint over it again with the wall paint. So I'm going to start doing that now. Draw quite dark so that you can uh, then do the sky before you fill in the tree if you uh, want to. So I'm just going to quickly do this and I'm going to uh, speed up so that you can get a, uh, a good idea of what I'm doing. As you can see now, we have the uh, general outline of the tree. It's quite quick, uh, quite effective. There's, um, you can already see that there's something a little bit special. And if you're not happy with what you've done, you can keep on changing it until you get it exactly how you like it. It's more a case of how it feels rather than how it looks. If it feels right, if it feels sort of uncomplicated, if it feels like a tree, as far as you're concerned, then that's always good. What I'm going to do now is fill in the tree. I've um, got some dark brown paint. Um, I'm going to fill it in now. I know that many experts would say you should do the sky first and then put the tree later, but because we're going to paint over the tree many times, uh, I don't think it really matters. Anyway, this is the way I'm going to do it. Um, so uh, here we go. Just use a simple paintbrush and fill it in. You don't have to be too pedantic just uh, because this is the first go so this is just for the first impression and if you uh, do an untidy job you can always fill up again with the original paint just to tidy up the edges and things and of course you can always add on extra bits as well, extra branches and all sorts of things later.
Now, as you can see, I've added a lot more detail to the branches. I've used a smaller brush and I can just continue like this and you can just carry on until you feel that you've, um, that you've done enough. And the reason why I'm uh, showing you this is because some people might be quite satisfied to leave the mural just like this and not do any more to it. I'm going to add sky to it, but I'm going to do that after it's dried. And then I will paint over the trees again because you need to put more detail in later. But as a sort of um, beginner's mural, this is um, quite a fun thing to do and to stop just here. I'm just going to carry on a little bit further and then uh, we'll go on to the next stage. I thought I would end the video with, from the same angle that I started so you can get an idea of how effective a very simple mural like this can be. Um, I'm going to put more detail in it and put a bit of sky in and things like that, but that's to do in another video because I think if we leave it like this, it's actually quite sufficient anyway and I think it's very effective and um, you don't have to take it any further, but it'd be quite fun to do that. So we're going to do that in part two of this video. Thanks very much for watching.